Hello all and welcome to Aspirin Study Circle. Today we will discuss important bits regarding Indian art and culture. So let us start. So the first question is with reference to philosophical thought in India. Philosophics chala important. So please do mention what are the Indian schools of philosophy. So now consider the following statements regarding Sankhya school. So Sankhya does not accept the theory of a rebirth or transmigration of soul. Sankhya holds that it is self-knowledge that leads to liberation and not any exterior influence or agent. So we could statements choose kunte. Sankhya Yoga actually believes in self-knowledge. So this is it holds that self-knowledge leads to liberation and not any other exterior influence or agent this is very correct so in order to reach moksha okay one will take number of births repeatedly number of births repeatedly and finally attain moksha so this is so how can he attain moksha through self knowledge self knowledge is related to samkhya and it does not accept the theory of rebirth or transmigration of soul this is wrong so it does if we concept choose kunte manamu self knowledge tarvata then only we can get moksha and until then there will be multiple births rebirths avtune untai so that is what samkhya school talks about so statement 1 is wrong and statement 2 is correct so answer is 2 moving on to the next question which of the following describes best the concept of nirvana in buddhism so extinction of flame of desire the complete annihilation of self a state of bliss and rest a mental state beyond all comprehension so ikkada chusukunte so nirvana anedi exactly nirvana then true term is to blow out so it refers to extinguishing all the fires of anything which is greed hatred delusion jealousy all of these emotions all of these psychological traits they can be extinguished with wisdom e wisdom tarvata then the mind becomes free blissful and radiant okay so this is the consequence is the consequence so but what exactly is the concept of nirvana ante it is extinction of flame of desire so if one can be free so the whole concept of buddhism is desires ni taggichukovali you have to reduce your desires to be happy reduce your desires to be happy so this is the basic concept of buddhism and the concept of nirvana deals with extinction of flame of desire so moving on to the next question which of the following characterize which of the following characterizes or characterize the people of indus valley civilization indus valley civilization me the compulsory questions vache chances chaala unnai so they possessed great palaces and temples they worshiped both male and female deities they employed horses drawn chariots in warfare so they possessed great temples and palaces is wrong and because uh, it was very indus valley civilization is famous for bricks and drainage patterns and multi storied houses multi storied houses but not great temples and palaces no and they worship both male and female deities yes so they worshiped a prototype of shiva and there were famous uh, mother goddesses deities which sim- uh, which symbolized uh, fertility fertility goddess ani manam chustam so this is right so they employed horse drawn chariots in warfare so is the common belief enti ante uh, by the experts that uh, indus valley people were peace loving and uh, walu a war lo gaani they did not engage in any war 
and uh, the extinction was due to mostly the uh, agreeable by all the experts was earthquakes wala lekapothe sea level changes wala climate change alanti situation lo there was extinction or there we have seen not extinction but we have seen the decline of indus valley civilization so there is no concept of horse drawn chariots so ans- the first and the third statements are wrong and the right answer is only two which is worshiped both male and female deities moving on to the next question which of the following statements is or are applicable to jain doctrine so the surest way of annihilating karma is to practice penance every object even the smallest particle has soul karma is the bane of soul and must be ended so ikkada chusukunte yes jainism says karma is the bane of soul is the bane of soul very important okay and this statement is also very very important ante every object edana gani mi pen mi books meeru every oka rai stone every object has every small particle has a soul that is what the jain doctrine says so two is very very correct and annihilating karma is by practice of penance so all of these statements are correct so now moving on to the next question with reference to history of indian rock cut architecture consider the following statements so the caves of badami are the oldest surviving rock caves in india the barabar rock caves were originally made for ajivikas by emperor chandragupta maurya at elora caves were made for different faiths so ikkada ilanti multiple statements unnappudu try to identify the statement that may be wrong so to eliminate okay so the first the caves at badamis are the oldest surviving rock cut caves this is wrong but the second statement if you see the second statement the barabar rock cut caves were originally made for ajivikas yes but they were made they were constructed under ashoka so the second statement becomes wrong so second statement this is the idi the wrong so if you have to choose between 1 and 3 you know this information that elora has caves for all different faiths buddhism jainism hinduism you have all these faiths in elora whereas in ajanta ajanta caves it is predominated by buddhism all right so ikkada chusukunte badamis are not the oldest surviving but the answer is barabar cave so ikkada these are not the oldest barabar is the oldest so statement 1 is wrong and statement 2 is wrong so the answer is 3 so oldest ochesi they are barabar and barabar were made originally for ajivikas but by asoka so moving on to the next question chinese traveler hun sang who visited india recorded the general conditions and culture of india at that time in this context which of the following statements is or are correct so first statement the roads and river routes were completely immune from robbery as regards to punishment for offenses ordeals by fire water poison were instruments for determining the innocence or guilt of the person the tradesman had to pay duties at ferries and barrier stations so ikkada manam logic vaadukoni we can just eliminate the wrong answer so the roads and river routes were completely immune from robbery completely immune chaala extreme statement so ilanti multiple statements unnappudu try to identify the wrong statement and also try to identify extremely sounding words extreme so completely immune anedi kachithanga evaru cheppaleru so this could be wrong okay and as regards to punishment of the offenses yes this is right and also had to pay ferries at barrier stations so duties anevi ee roju kuda we have lot of duties so aa roju lo kuda tradesmen kabatti they they have to pay duties so first statement thesesthe the right answer would be b so moving on to the next question consider the following historical places ajanta caves lepakshi temple sanchi stupa which of the following or above places is known for mural paintings so ikkada kuda same we have to try and identify 
which can be eliminated so stupas lo are not see largely stupas are not linked to murals okay three and thesis there and yes we know that in ajanta and lepakshi temple are very famous for murals so two one the compulsory undal kavati answer b so if we talk about ajanta cave they have murals in caves 1 2 16 and 17 so e murals on atv they were built during vakataka dynasty vakataka dynasty during and they were commissioned by harisena so and at the same time lepakshi temple gunchi maatladukunte so lepakshi temple they were construct and these mural paintings were done during the time of vijayanagara kings vijayanagara kings so that is the question and moving on to the next question which one of the following pairs does not form the six systems of indian philosophy so mimamsa vedanta nyaya vaiseshika lokayata kapalika sankhya yoga so you got a right answer of chessy it is c so you have to remember that uh, samkhya nagmanam first question la choose kunam right okay and then you need to remember yoga nyaya vaiseshika mimamsa vedanta so samkhya is related to prakrit and purush so prakrit and a nature purush and a human being human soul so they are combined they are one and the same sankhya antundi and yoga says that they are different that is prakrit and purush that is nature and human are different they are different okay adi that is the principle of yoga at the same time nyaya is logical thinking nyaya ochesi nyaya is logical thinking okay and similarly if you talk about vaiseshika it is about objective philosophy ante unnadi unnattu ga chudadam objective philosophy okay objective philosophy okay and next ochesi if we talk about mimamsa mimamsa talks about mimamsa talks about ipudu manaku samhita and brahmana vedallo these are parts so it talks about samhita and brahmana parts of veda and veda vedanta vedanta it talks of veda anta so it is about upanishads so these are something that you have to keep in mind so e six philosophies are going at least noted undali so moving on to the next question the national motto of india satya maiva jayati inscribed below the emblem of india is taken from kata upanishad chandogya upanishad aitra upanishad mundaka upanishad so you got a right answer which is it is mundaka upanishad so it means satya maiva jayati triumph of truth so truth alone truth alone triumphs and meeru comment section lo please do comment what is the essence of kata upanishad chandogya upanishad and aitra upanishad just in one word ipudu mundaka upanishad it talks about this truth alone times alage try and find out and tell me because these are important okay and also tell me which trans migration trans migration of soul which upanishad talks about trans migration of soul please do comment in the comment section now moving on to the next question which of the following kingdoms were associated with the life of buddha so avanti gandhara kosala magadha so if you clearly and carefully observe again by using methods of elimination eliminate cheyalani try chesthe gandhara anedi it is in pakistan and it is very west it is very far see kosala and magadha are very east so ikkada nunchi ikkada travel cheyadaniki chaala kashtam it is in pakistan so gandhara anedi you can eliminate right so where is gandhara yes you can eliminate so 3 4 3 4 that means kosala and magadha are there so you need to know that avanti is around in central so ikkada kuda buddha did not visit these place so you have to remember that kosala kingdom 
Lumbani. So, Buddha was born here in Kosala kingdom in okay in Lumbani. So, and Buddha died in Kusinagara. Kusinagara, which is in Magadha kingdom. So, Kosala and Magadha are very important. So, these are the important bits for today. If you found them useful, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.